So the sentence we're going to look at is Sandor considered happiness as whatever he could bear valiantly without tears. So the subject is Sandor. And uh, what did he do? He considered. Now we need to see, is this a transitive verb or, or what? And we ask then, what got considered? Happiness, that's what. And that means we have a direct object, happiness. Now, the next bit is the most troublesome thing in the sentence. Uh, as whatever he could bear valiantly without tears, uh, we might look at that and say, well, that looks like a uh, prepositional phrase with a uh, nominal clause, whatever he could bear valiantly without tears, as the object of the preposition. And uh, that would, if we thought about it that way, that would be uh, adverbial. Uh, it would be saying, you know, how did he consider it? as whatever he could bear valiantly without tears. And that has a plausibility to it, but if we think about that, that, that can't be. So if we think about this other sentence, he considered global warming as a scientist. Um, now, this indeed is a, an adverbial prepositional phrase and uh, you know that because, for one thing, you could move it around. You could say, as a scientist, he considered global warming. Uh, or he, as a scientist, considered global warming, you know, since he was a scientist. You can move that around, and that's a signal of uh, its being adverbial. But you get, uh, you get nowhere if you try to do that with as, uh, as, as whatever... Uh, he could bear valiantly without tears. You can't say, as whatever he could bear valiantly without tears, Sander considered happiness. Uh, I mean, Yoda might say that, but that, that doesn't work. Uh, and certainly you couldn't say, Sandor, as whatever he could bear valiantly without tears, considered happiness. I mean, because those are the three places these adverbial things can, where they can go. They can go at the beginning, they can go after the subject, uh, and they, they can go at the end. But this as whatever he could bear valiantly without tears, <clears throat> is immobile. Um, and so what's really happening here is this, this, whatever he could bear valiantly without tears, is an objective compliment. Uh, it would be like the sentence, Sander considered happiness his right. Um, or hap Sander considered happiness a reward. Uh, Indeed, the as is, could be omitted from this entirely. Uh, Sander considered happiness whatever he could bear valiantly without tears. Uh, and obviously you can't do that with this as. You can't say he considered global warming a scientist. I mean, you could say that. That would be a pretty strange thing to say. So uh, it's quite different. Uh, happiness is whatever he could bear valiantly without tears. They are equivalent. Uh, and of course, up here, global warming is not a scientist. So this as is not functioning uh, as a preposition here, but as an expletive. So, uh, which you sometimes get in uh, objective compliments. So we send as up on this little platform to expletive heaven, and we need a nominal clause here, so we have a pedestal. Um, let's give ourselves uh, room. So, uh, the subject-verb combination here is he could bear, so uh, that's there, he could bear, and how could he bear it? Well, valiantly, that's how. And how else? 
There's a phone call. Maybe it's Sandor. Uh, he could bear it without tears. The object of the preposition there. Um, so that leaves our whatever. And, uh, you know, what could be born? Whatever. Um, so that goes right there. Um, so that's what's going on with this sentence. There's, there are not, uh, if you, if you look at this, there aren't any noun phrases, uh, the nouns, you know, so he's a pronoun, of course, Sandor, proper noun. But there's nothing hanging off of these. They are not modified by anything. Um, happiness is a noun, but again, it is not modified by anything. So there aren't any uh, nominal phrases here. Uh, indeed, there's only one uh, prepositional phrase, without tears. And uh, that is, as we see, see modifying, could bear. Uh, so that means it is adverbial and that those are our that's our only uh, prepositional phrase